Hey friends, welcome to day eight of the 30 day paint a piece of furniture challenge. Who's on here with me tonight? We are getting ready to kick off and take this, you know, like I call it a brownie frowny piece of furniture. This one is kind of like, what would you call it, babe? Like, I don't know, pine, golden it's oakish. A desk. Yeah, it's just like there's nothing special about it, right? Mm. And you know how it looks, just kind of yellowy wood. So I'm going to show you some tips tonight to really make it come to life, make it look really, really cool. And I'm guessing that this piece, Maybe maybe uh, belong to like a young kid, a um, young school kid. So we are going to make it uh, cool for the next school kid, and maybe some uh, you know back to school mom out there might be able to make use of this for her kid. So here's what we do know. Okay, this person who owned the desk wore shirts that were slim fit. Okay, yes. first clue that it might be a young boy. And All they right? had a terrible taste in. Uh... In what? In television. In television? Yes. yes. This is the other clue, okay? Because <laughs> if you look on the top of the desk, which you can come over and take a look at. I'm going to show you two awesome things, okay? Number one, look, the kid was creative, right? He left his, his, he left his like, doodles on here. So you can see we know he liked Glee. He liked True Blood. Anybody watch any of these shows? Bones, which I heard Bones was a good one. I never got into that. I never actually gave it a chance, but I need to check that out. Vampire Diaries. I think over here there was Scrubs. So you know what? We, we do know that he was maybe a Netflix connoisseur, okay? That's what we do know, right? So we're going to flip it tonight. That was Fox. That was the Fox Friday night line, Friday and Sunday night lineup. Like was five, it? Five well, we years watched ago. TV on yes. Sunday nights, right? And did you see when you were over here? Come back again. Come oh, back again. Man. Come on, take three steps forward. Three steps forward. Look at that. Can you guys see that? That's how much we scored this desk for. Three Four days. dollars and... <laughs> Four dollars and ninety-nine cents. So you know what? That is my love language. A little red, uh, red sticker on there. We actually got this at our local Goodwill. Anybody else out there who loves to do the Goodwills? You know, do you got when you like? Do you have days that you do the Goodwills? Because I'm gonna tell you, you begin to like learn which are the days that the new stuff gets dropped off, right? So do you have a system? Do you have places that you like to go? Tell me about it. And as you are joining me, maybe you're joining us for the first time. God love you if you are, okay, because uh, we don't know. We, we just kind of talk and chat with you guys while we are making furniture beautiful. So who knows what we'll talk about tonight, okay? Anybody throw out a topic. Sound good? Sound good? So we are the owners of Junk Monkey Paint Company, and we make a paint called Junk Monkey Paint where you don't have to prime or sand um, or strip or any of that nonsense. Uh, you can actually take a piece of furniture like I have before me. And just like you're gonna see, like magic, we're gonna totally convert it into something usable and pretty. And somebody who looked at this tag this for $4.99, but I can look at it and go, oh my gosh, do you know what I could do with that? So we're gonna take you through it and show you a few tips tonight, okay? Sound good? So Matt is my hubby, my partner in crime, and the cameraman tonight. So babe, go ahead and tell us who's on here with us. Let me go back to the beginning. Come way back <laughs> Good, you gave me all that time to talk, right? Yes, it was killing me. Sometimes he's like, Can you hurry up? So, Lena King is on. Jennifer Dreyer is back on for a second time today from Moreno oh Valley, California. Gosh. Melissa Willis is there. Kelly Ansel Sheets, who stalks us. Hey, I'm going to get, <laughs> get a restraining order. Ah, uh, Kelly, you're a day off. It's day eight. Oh, Jennifer so Campbell funny. says, Uh oh, hair down and loose. Carolyn oh, Lane says, Hello. Shelly Taft says, Hi from Santee, California. Hey, Kathy how Snyder are you? says, Hello and share. Valerie Sassman Spickler says, good evening, can't wait to see how this transforms. Yay! Melissa Willis said, share. Jennifer Dreyer said she was worried she missed today because she because she had to pick up the kids in an hour. Are uh, you trying to talk really, really fast? I am. I'm yeah, trying I to get, can tell. I'm I trying, can to, get trying to get through all these. Shut up. I'm all trying right, to get all through right, all okay, these. You go, go for it. You go for it. Lois Owen says, hi, guys. Uh, Heather Rink says, hi, from Dyer, painting with the twist, Jackson, Tennessee. Love you guys. Thank you very much. Aw, thank you for the love. We Kathy Snyder said, Goodwill and Salvation Army, and of course, yes. Lee Markets. Yes. Uh, Lois Share, Jennifer Dreyer, Share, my, my, uh, my, my share button is MIA, but I did copy and paste. Cool. Uh, nice. We appreciate thank the you extra very much. effort. Yes, yes absolutely. we really appreciate Susan that. got her paints today. Have Yay! you been using them, Susan? Uh, Nancy's back on from Philadelphia, Mississippi again. That's it. Uh, Kelly said, I look forward to these live shows. I hope Yay, they go on forever. Good. I hope they don't because I will be I dead hope they go on in forever. six months. <laughs> yeah, you're going to kill me. You guys are going to kill me. Um, Karen says, hi, guys. Love what you all do. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Mm, Mary, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. says, I'm addicted to you guys. You create fabulous uh, pieces and are fun to watch. Oh, wow, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sherry Smith. Who would have thought we're interesting, babe? Yeah. <laughs> 
We, we, we don't think we're that interesting, yeah, okay? Yeah, can we start fighting? But we'll, we'll take your word for it, okay? We'll just take your word for it. Sherry Smith says hello again the big winner, Sherry Smith. Yes! Who is on today on Home Talk as well. Uh, Kay Clark, you were early tonight? Yes. Yep. Yes. Um, we have been here at the shop. You guys saw yeah, us, right? Yeah, we've been here morning. since way early. Did anybody tonight. see the uh, Home Talk that we did at 11 o'clock so, this morning with the uh, chicken wire repurposed... Um, old frames that you know things that you can do that was cool right so we came out early this morning here to our shabby shop to our junk monkey paint studio in Ligonier Pennsylvania our next and, door uh, neighbor yeah we're just our, finishing up a few things and our next about day, to call it a day our next day, door neighbor Mary Cable from Second Chance is on here we hey a, Mary we hey. did a ton of cool stuff right out yep, our back Mary's door Mary's awesome she if you got awesome awesome yes. stuff awesome prices you know what if you come out to see me in your local be sure to uh, ask us where Mary's located she's right behind us and it's really cool to be uh, let me just tell you it's a dream come uh, true to be located next to a second-hand consignment shop. Let me just say. Uh, uh, Long I mean? Island Mafia is back on. The Long Island Mafia? <laughs> I missed the day because I lost the feed that one last night. Well, oh, you can go back and watch again. So. You can come to the front again. Trudy, what if I don't? I like it here on the side. Okay, you can stay over there, okay. too. I'm coming over. Beverly's on from Scottdale, our old stomping grounds. Trudy's on from Elizabeth, Toledo, Ohio nice. is Colette. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh. Carla's on from Somerset, PA. Uh, Linda's back on from Springfield, Missouri. No shut up, shush. No, no, Virginia, sometimes we just have to tell each other we don't have time for shush. I agree, Virginia. <laughs> I agree, Virginia. No, no. What, 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 it, what did it used to be when we were up in Canada? Tut, tut, tut. I don't know. The tut, tut, tut. <laughs> Remember that? Oh, you want to get I, me wild. I think I blocked that out. Yeah, you want to get me wild is when somebody would tut, tut, tut. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, no. Uh, so actually, we are uh, we are very brutally honest with each other. So it, it's definitely on. So, anyways, April Thorpe, hello. Have you watched Midnight Texas? No, uh, Midnight. Mid no, have no, not seen that seen one. one. No, uh -uh. Uh -uh. I've not seen that. Trudy one. says hi, Jay. Jay must be on here. I must miss him. Linda, oh, maybe they're telephone. friends. Listen, I'm trying to say hello to everybody. So if I, uh, oh, I thought I saw you on there today, Kelly. Um, you guys were a hoot this morning. Yes, we were in rare form this morning. That's because we were. <laughs> I had to get up early this morning. Yeah, I'm just gonna tell you. I'm, like I said, you guys follow me. You know we are night owls. And uh, well, poor Matt, he just gets struck along. You yeah, know what I mean? Exactly. He, he just gets struck along because I'm I'm the one with the light on and uh, yeah, like at 12 o'clock going. Let's watch a movie. So uh, poor guy. Well, last night it was 2:30, almost 3 o'clock. Yeah. So anyways, uh, Trudy said, "What are the business hours in Lincoln Air?" Business hours are Wednesday through Sunday, 11 yep. to 5. All right. So, anyways. Are you guys paying attention to what I'm doing? Because you're probably like, why the heck is she painting it like that? It's because I like to give you tips, right? And if you're joining me every night on here, you're going to learn a lot of cool stuff. And you can add that all together to kind of put in your toolbox, so to speak, so that when you're doing furniture for yourself or if you're doing furniture for other people, you've got lots of techniques, right? Because it gets a little boring when you do furniture all the same. So I like to kind of play around with it. And because I have played around with so much furniture, um, I feel comfortable kind of doing like effects like oh, this. Cool, I'm gonna take you through it, okay? Yeah. Um, right. Oh, Terry's back from Harlingen, Texas. Hey, Terry. Um, Debbie said, went to Home Depot for following brushes, have three pieces to do, waiting on paint to get started. Nice. Uh, it's either in the mail or be in the mail tomorrow. Did we send her? Uh, I can't no, remember. I can't we sent out so much mail we, today. You I have no idea remember. how much we sent in. Liz Justice is on. What's up, Liz? Welcome back. Uh, Amber Mayberry said, share. Uh, your Aunt Loretta is on. Hey, Aunt um, Loretta. I think, are you still up in uh, Fort McMurray with that brand new grandbaby? <laughs> so, Maria Souther is on. They're a big winner. Yep. Uh, Linda. Can you picture me over here painting? No, I'm Can looking you at come the over here? Yeah, what are you doing? You're talking to your friends again. I'm talking to my friends today. Yeah, you're talking to your friends again. I'm talking to my friends today, and uh, I got sidetracked. So. Yeah, I can tell. You're like over there, and I'm like, hello, I'm over here. Well, hello, I'm over here. So, uh, All right. Yeah. So, Just be happy I'm not singing Space Pants right now. You've had that in your head for days. I, I have. Seriously, you have had that well, in your head. There's just something before. about Tyrion, He's got an earworm. Tyrion the, Lannister uh, in poofy jacket singing Space Pants. <laughs> Space Pants? Oh, now he's going to sing it. No, he's really going to sing it. You see? You're, it's starting, it's starting see? to sneak See, as he, as he gets more and more tired, he will start singing. All right? Oh, Marie says no headband. 
No, oh. although you might have to tie my hair back in a ponytail tonight because, uh, you know, I, I do see. find it hard to work with my hair down. I just, I had really, really, I've always had long hair my entire life, but I recently it's short cut right my now. hair. Yeah, yeah. I recently cut my hair. It was like almost waist length, and uh, but I wore it back a lot because of the fact that I paint, and uh, so I always enjoy wearing headbands, and uh, this is why. This is why I look like cousin it. Yeah, this is this is why. You ask me why I wear headbands. That's why. That's why. Yeah. Big, big hair. But oh, <laughs> don't get me started. You know what? Anybody else out there feel this? That um, that. Well, I think I have one here right now. But anybody else feel that oh, these things here? The heart. See, Matt's already getting yeah. worked up when I'm just talking about it. Um, anybody else feel like the uh, the um, ponytail rings just keep going missing? Do you know what I'm talking about? Anybody else have ponytail rings in their house? That okay, she's the only one in the house that uses ponytail rings. And she <laughs> buys them. She buys them by by the gross, you know, like okay. yep, four hundred at a time. And it's less than a few days later. Four hundred at a time. Oh, there Come are on, dozens and break. dozens of them. And then right. and then like two days later, she comes back and goes, "Do you see hey, my ponytail rings? Hey, have you seen my ponytail rings? You got a ponytail ring? No." Why I'm would I have a ponytail ring? They're like socks, all right? Yeah. And monsters, Liz, there's is just this, things in your life that go off. Is this black or navy? This is black, all right? Who's ready for me to tell, Amber, tell you what I'm nothing. even doing? <laughs> I'm even, I haven't even told you guys what I'm doing yet, have I? What technique I'm doing. Robin forgot her black you? paint on Sunday. You forgot your black paint, girl. You, you know why? You black paint. You know why? Because she got all mesmerized because she had a chance to meet you. Yes. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. Yep, yeah, there you go. Exactly. So, anyway, hey, Barb. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, Maria says her cat takes them. Is that really what the cat does? Yeah. Well, there you go. That might Maybe be what's that's what my cat does. I don't know. I Barbara swear. says her car hides. Uh, they just go missing. Yeah. They're terrible. Oh, April and, uh, says I have cats and I, they love them. There must be something. I wonder. Maybe that's... Maybe yeah. that noise that I hear my cat up to at night, maybe that's what he's doing. Maybe he's like flinging, uh, he, he's just having fun with my hair bands, right? <laughs> Hey, our band. So what's everybody up to tonight? Tell me. <laughs> Melissa Willis, I've owned 4,000 ponytail rings in my life. <laughs> I want to know how many I have currently. Four. Uh, yeah, four? right? Yeah, seriously. That's exactly where I am as well. You know what those are like? What? They're like the old meatloaf cassette tape of Bad Out of Hell. Right. Do okay. you know how many times I bought that album? And, and everybody I talk to is like, they bought that. We, we think that they were made to like self-destruct or disappear after so many days so you have to go and rebuy the album right so i think that might be along the same funny they're going why are you only painting the edges i know now ocd people are like oh my god because i'm teaching you guys a new technique tonight okay and i'm going to talk you through it in just a second but i want to say hello to you guys and find out who's with us we can chat a little bit and then i'm going to take a deep breath and uh walk you through what about just happened and what's about to go down so who's been out painting today anybody Anybody painting or even have plans for this weekend to paint? All right. Jaylene is in New Zealand, racing home and pouring rain. Just be, just be careful. Yeah, be, be careful, careful, girl. Please, yeah. Arrive alive. Yeah. Thinking she's going to All use right. another color in the bill, of course. No tricks on you. That's it. Good night. See you, everybody. We're going and home. ta da! <laughs> ta da! It's a mess. Kay Clark wants to know, for yes. the love of God, when yes. are you going to crackle? When am I going to what? Crackle. You think we should do some crackle tomorrow night? Yeah, let's do crackle tomorrow night. All right, let's do a crackle tomorrow night. We're going to okay? do crackle tomorrow night. It's on just crackle, for you. Crackle, crackle, just crackle. for you, okay? We'll bring it out tomorrow night. All right, so tonight I'm going to teach you guys how to kind of like use two colors to create a distress look. So if you saw on Home Talk today, actually if you see over here, we did a bunch of these. Frames, right? Can you guys see over here? Oh. We did a bunch of these frames, oh, right? Oh, that was on home talk today. This is actually hey, the teal. Hey, Texas, what are you doing? This is the teal with a black glaze over it, okay? No, it's so, not. So, you're such a fibber. You're such hey, a fibber. Lauren, what's going on? So, anyway, what I'm going to do Wednesday. is do this effect on this dresser. Sound good? Okay. But I'm going to show you how to Fake it till you make it, all right? But I'm kind of seeing these two go together. I think that would be so awesome. So who saw that uh, home talk today? And who might try it for themselves? Because I would love it if you would. It makes me happy when people yes. uh, try these different people things. People love them. All right, I gotta dry this. <clears throat> okay, yeah. let's talk about what's going on. Come over here. 
Believe it or not, so I have it, I'm gonna hit the dryer here in just a second to knock back a little bit of the, the wet that's left. But you can see how fast this dries. Other than just a few little pieces, this is all dry right here. So when you use the paint, it's gonna set up pretty quick. All right, sound good? So here's the deal. You can see the color of this piece of furniture, the desk. And like I said, it's stained up. It's, it's quite, you know, ugly. And uh, we're gonna give it a facelift Don't, here in just you're, a you're, second. You're, I know, I'm gonna intimidate it. I'm gonna you're, like, You're yeah. hurting its okay. feelings. All right, it's okay. You just haven't had a spa day in a long time. Just stick with us here, just stick with us, okay, buddy? Don't die on us, don't die on us. All right, all right, just bear with us here. We got the, is it defibrillators? Is that what it is? I don't know. Spa day. <laughs> Are we gonna do We're that? getting a spa day today. Are we gonna do today? the salon, uh, the salon scene from uh, Don't Mess With The Zohan? I can't remember it. Yeah, uh, what was his name, Coco? Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, Scrappy Coco. Yes, that was such a good movie. Boots and pants and boots and Yes, what was the name of that again? Don't mess with the Zohan. Don't mess with the Zo Zohan. Zohan. Yeah, yeah. yeah, who saw that movie? That was so good. We laughed to kill ourselves. All right, so here's what I'm going to show you how to cheat at, okay? So I want to make this piece look like it's black underneath instead of this worn, yellowish, golden color. Now, when you distress, what happens is you put a color on. And if I were to distress this right now, let's say, for example, it was painted entirely in black and I did some distressing, it's going to bring that light colored wood through. In this case, what I want to do is fake it and so make it look like it's blue teal, but I want the black to be the secondary color, okay? I want to make it look like instead of this is coming through, I want to fake it and make it look like it's actually a black um, shadow coming through all the, all the paint that I'm going to use, okay? So instead of having the, to paint the entire desk black, all I did was um, basically just frame out the areas because when you distress, here you go, yawn it again. You know what happens when you yawn? I'm sorry. You yawn, I yawn, we all yawn, okay? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. seriously, that's what happens, all right? So, all right, so you need some more oxygen, that's what you need. We'll, we'll get you to show them the farm outside in just a second. I'm gonna the turn farm. the hair. Yeah, the farm. Oh, uh, the farm. Yeah. Yeah. You can show them the farm in a second. Yeah. All right, so here's what we're gonna do, okay? So I'm going to dry this. It's almost dry now, but I'm just gonna finish drying it on the drawers here real fast. And then um, I'm gonna show you what I do with my color to make it all work and pull together. And it's gonna be awesome, because right now it looks kind of chintzy, right? It's, it's like a nice wooden desk, but it's looking all chintzy and we wanna make it, make it feel a little bit more heavier and just glamorous, all right? Sound good? So I'm gonna hit the hair dryer. I know that's loud for you guys, but it's no fun watching paint dry. So um, I told Matt to go outside and show you the farm, okay? You'll be, a, you'll be interested to see the farm outside, especially if you are a farm girl or guy. So um, this is the farm and our one stock of corn that just happened to grow where somebody brought us uh, a clean fill. Uh, I destroyed all the carrots by accident, but uh, it's just the one thing of corn. So, Sherry Smith said, waiting until the antique lace arrives. So order four more colors in both the black and brown glazes tonight. Awesome. Erna, yes, it was funny. So, that was our, uh, that's our farm and our one, our one stock of corn in front of our shop. So, the restaurant next door is going to cook it for us once it's done. I just hope it's not filled corn. So, anyways, but, uh, well, as we're staying out here, I'm looking at the ice cream shop. I think I'm gonna head up there. So, any? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it's still open. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we're gonna go inside. So, popcorn. You know, I used to grow popcorn when I was a kid, and we used to sell it at the market. We grew strawberry popcorn, regular popcorn. We grew Indian corn. Is it organic? Um, I, I guess it's organic. I don't know. It just kind of popped up on its own. Okay, through the magic thing, transition music. Hey, so what do you think of the farm? What do you think of the farm, right? Isn't he such a farm boy yeah. throwing that ear of corn? So, yeah. I think there we're just going to go with it now and just like plant corn outside the shop. What yeah. do you guys think? There you go. What do you think, right? So, explain what you're doing. Boots and pants and boots. What are you doing? I'm doing transition music, like, you know, like on. HGTV oh and, and Property Brothers, where they have cool music going into things. Oh my god. All right. Okay. Yeah. I, I guess so. Right. You know, I guess so. Uh, Lori Scott, while well, you guys are corning. Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> Linda Carr, we need to see you. No, you don't. No, you don't. We'll do a 30 day, uh, yeah, after 30 days, we'll yeah. have Matt's challenge. 
We'll we'll have a Matt show his face challenge and uh, we'll interview him or something. Okay. Oh, oh careful. Oops, we'll find sorry. it all his porn recipes. All right. Okay. So here's what we got going down now. Honeybrook, PA. What part of the state is Honeybrook at? Show this up, up close because I really want them to see how pretty this is. Like seriously, like how pretty that is. River. Oh my God. All right. So again, remember I'm using my favorite Chevy chip brushes. We sell them here at the shop for 85 cents. Find them at your local hardware store as well. Get the two inch ones. Those are the best. And remember they leave a trail behind them. So I'm going to leave more of a concentration in the middle. But when you think about things getting distressed, they generally get distressed and all these things kind of happen, the wear around the edge, right? So I'm going to make it work. I'm going to watch this, watch this. Watch what? I want to say hello to my friend Irene Ramos Argallo. Oh, man. From Texas. Dang, you're good. I'm a man of many talents. So. Wow. Jenny Pollock says she has the same orange rug and is not afraid of color easy. No, heck no. Uh, right? Karen Elaine says you need your own show on HGTV. Maybe one day, girl. Uh, um, we'll see what yeah, happens. Yeah, you, you never know what's going to happen. We haven't contacted about the possibility. We'll see yes, what happens. We, we promise are, we will keep you We in are in negotiations right now, and that is no lie. Honeybrook is just outside of Philadelphia. I never heard of it. Uh, guy... Do you offer a loyalty or discount on returning customers for paint? On returning customers for paint. Actually, our paint is so low priced yeah. that we don't make a lot of money on it. Yep. It's mainly to get people into our shop. It's $10.75 a jar. Yep. Yep. And so we keep it at like basically um, the rock bottom price. And yep. uh, so really we don't offer, like we don't even have a wholesale rate. That is the rate. That You yep. guys get the wholesale rate. That is yep. the rate rock bottom okay so you guys can come into our shop and pick it up or you can shop online as well you guys know that um but there you go hopefully that helps some people ask as well you know do you guys do your paint in bigger in bigger jars if you used our paint you will see you don't need a bigger jar you don't because if you're painting a piece of furniture chances are you are going to get it done with one jar and if you need a second one it probably means that you're painting something super, super big, like an entire table set with maybe six to eight chairs and a table. So it really does go that far. Amy Lee's straight in from Michigan. Hey, Barbara Jock says, is there going to be any dabbing tonight? That's the highlight of every episode. Heck yeah. Barbara, you saw me dabbing today on Home Talk. I did a special oh. dab, dab, dab <laughs> because there was no dabbing and there is no... Uh, anyways, Lori's checking in from Shawnee, Kansas. Hey, so, how are you? Shelly Velva is coming in again from Maine. Maine, coming Maine in the house. So, I love Maine. Probably I am glad me. you're safe, Gaylene. Probably reminds me of home. So That's Beth, why. Beth uh, our friend Beth Stoffer, who's been a long time yes, Beth friend does. and supporter and has been uh, supporting us since we were living Listen, out I... of our garage. No lie. You say living out of a garage? Well, living is the shop. Living, the shop, yeah. yeah living yeah, out of our garage. I didn't live in the garage. Where'd you live? In the um, garage. But yeah. <laughs> so it she used a hobby to, when I would yeah, paint this from my yeah, garage. She would come up to our garage Let's and pick this. stuff and buy stuff. And she says it is the rock bottom if you ever price shop painting. Yeah, no kidding, right? So, so uh, yeah. Ashley's checking in from Carlton, Michigan. Uh, Irene says she shared with friends. Amy Lee is smiley face, smiley face. Hey, smiley face, uh, Matt Rebecca. Pretty job. Job. Yes, isn't it pretty? Till River. You just wait, guys, because I'm going to be doing some glazing. Maria says, How about a free keychain or even a t shirt after we buy so many jars of paint? You know what? That's... Um, I would like a free keychain. Can you get me one of those? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have keychains. So, uh, just painted a table with the same colors. I'm planning to nice. put white over it. Too. That's cool. Yeah. you guys Teals for the first time today when you awesome. did the frames and oh have watched other gosh. videos of yours all afternoon. Aww. Love your paint yeah. and your decor stuff. Thank you so much, Ka yes. Kathy. We, we really appreciate it. And uh, We yeah. did this decor style even yeah. before uh, Farmhouse and all that, you know, the time worn of the, of the latest HGTV. Um, I've actually been painting furniture now for probably like, I'm going to say if I really sat and added up, maybe about eight years. So, um, <laughs> I've always loved the time, time worn looks, so no matter what the style or what you call it, because you ever notice that, you know, when you think about time worn, whatever you want to call the style, 
There is like rustic. It's time worn. What's rustic? It's time worn, right? Yep. There's primitive. Okay, that's aged as well. Then you got shabby chic, which I love. And that's age time worn again. And then you've got farmhouse. What's farmhouse? It's old and worn again. So you know what? You can put whatever label you want to put on it, but I will be a shabby lover no matter what um, you want to call it for the rest of my life. So this is why I call my shop a shabby shop because I just love the distressed style and I appreciate old pieces and I love to make them look like they've seen a lot of use. You know? So, um, I apologize about the shaky camera. I was scratching paint off her screen. So anyways, Chris Ch <laughs> Sanchez like, scratching? Chris Sanchez is uh, is checking in from Omaha, Nebraska. Shelly Tess said, I paid $31 for some paint that promises the same thing. Small jar too. You are fabulous for uh, keeping the paint low and accessible. My hubby almost killed me. He's yeah. so happy I found you now. Yay. You. Well, you know what? Isn't that the truth? Because um, I always say that, and this is kind of how the paint was born. It wasn't born meant to be sold we didn't make the paint thinking oh what can we make to sell it was yeah. made more or less because i love to paint and yeah. my husband helped me concoct a recipe um that i like to paint with so, and then people would come into my shop and they'd say oh what kind of paint do you use and okay. well they'd say can you share the paint that you use with us and that is how Junk Monkey started. Paint yep. was born Tracy Harper says hello from Watseka, Illinois. Hello. What color is the blue paint you're using? It's our Teal River. Yep. yep. So it's a teal. So Teals lean towards Dee either Dee blue Phoenix or green. Says hello. Dee Dee. Sherry oh, she's Radcliffe. my girl. Uh, gee, what will we do after the 30 days is over? I don't know. We'll have to come up with a new challenge, yeah, you right? Yeah, will be good for HGTV. Well, write them and tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Help us out here. Oh, I'm sure funny. if we started like an Amazing. online campaign and like bombard their... Uh, Inbox will have to say yes, right? There you go. They'll say, who yeah. are these crazy people? Yes. Like, seriously, what is going on over there? Charlene Barr checking out from upstate New York in the Adirondacks. Hello, upstate New York. Hey, question. Are you guys seeing fall changes up there? It's only August, babe. It's I know, but I'm days. telling you. I'm She's telling you. She's being paranoid. I'm telling you. I'm finding leaves on the ground. And Colette no, it's not because know. the tree died. Colette. It's like, things are happening. It because it's dry. Colette wants to know what's the difference between your paint, chalk paint, and milk paint. Chalk paint, milk paint. Okay. So, milk paint is made with all natural products. Well, our paint, chalk paint, and milk paint. The comparison of the three. Say that again. She wants to know our difference between okay. our paint and chalk paint okay. and our paint and milk paint. Well, what people don't realize is that chalk paint is actually a brand name. Yep. Chalk paint is a brand name. So, our paint is a chalk style. A chalk type whatever you want to call it but um, I can't call it Pepsi or Coke right so that's why I think about when you go to the store and you really think about a lot of the names that are out there so this so our paint we call it a chalk type or a chalky style paint. Copywritten. What's that? Copywritten. Yep it is copyrighted. Trademark. Absolutely so you know you have to be you have to be aware of these things so our paint is a chalk style paint meaning that once you put it on you don't have to prime you know you don't have to sand you don't have to strip all that good stuff um, but once you put it on, if you leave it in the form that it is right now, then I could take a piece of chalk and I could use it as a chalkboard. Now, one of the things that we like to, that we love about our paint is the fact that we make it so that it is a thick enough of a consistency that you just don't have to like go with a wax system. Okay. You can use whatever sealer you want. If you choose to use a sealer, it's not going to fall off the piece. So if you don't, ha you don't want to seal, you don't have to. But if you have a high, high traffic piece, like for example, this is a desk. So somebody's going to be leaning on it, doing work on it, that sort of thing. So I'm going to actually seal this piece. But the recipe that we use for our paint, nobody else uses because we have perfected our, our own recipe. So. And, it's, and it is pr protected by law. There you go. So Matt's been uh, working up a, a really cool recipe, and I'm going to be honest, when we, since when we first started to where it is now, you know, we've, we've changed it, and we've got it just to the right consistency, so he'll bring it to me, and I'll paint, and I'll be like, make it a little bit thicker, you yeah. know? So remember on the top, you saw like Sharpie marker and things like that? There's nothing coming through, right? It's completely covered, so one of the things I really, really wanted was a paint that would cover, and this is one coat, guys. And some people comment, um, you know, wow, I only saw you put one coat on. So this recipe that we make, yeah, yeah, I, I can honestly say it's not like any Stick other paint because sure. it's our recipe, right? 
chunkier. It's chunkier. Yeah. It's the chunkier. And milk package. paint. Actually, we are working on our own brand of milk yep. paint. And milk paint's really good for raw wood. Yes. Ours is going to be a little different where you'll be able to apply it to just about anything like our chalk paint. But it's an all natural version. It's kind of the yep. old style. It's to give you the really antique flat look. Um, it's but, a little bit involved to get into right now, but uh, yeah, we'll nope. do some. If, if yeah. honestly, once our labels arrive and we're ready to go ahead and put it on our shelf, right. then um, if we'll we get it show. done, we'll do yeah. a show one night, okay? And we'll really get into milk paint. And we'll kind of show you like when to use it, what would be appropriate to use for yeah. a chalky style paint versus what would be appropriate. Actually, to use for I think milk I paint. have a piece back there we were experimenting on. So we'll have to bring that out later. Yeah, later. Um, Jenny Bill says your chip brushes are a good deal too. Eighty-five yeah, cents at Lowe's or buck nineteen. I got. We keep it cheap. I got to catch up with all these people. Okay, all right, here we all go. Right. Beth says saying? we need keychains. Okay, Beth. Okay. So Beth we'll says hello, Beth. Your your grandmother says hello. Hey, Nan. Hi, Nan. Um, April Thomas said share twice. My friend Donna is watching too. Hi, Donna. Oh, this way. I'm hello, April. Side. Uh, Melody and Nate, are these quart jars and how do you handle shipping in the winter? I am Goose Creek, uh, South Carolina, receiving. You can message us if you have any, any questions. Frozen. Uh, actually, um, they're pint jars, and to be honest with you, the um, post office is supposed to protect all packages from freezing. So we are in the Laurel Highlands of uh, Pennsylvania. And it gets uh, into the minus we've never digits for a long time. And we've never had an issue. Uh, Janet Hooper said, yeah, I found you. Well, I, yay, I found you. So Lena King says, do you always need glaze? Do you have farmhouse red? No, you don't always need glaze. Um, we have two and we do have farmhouse red. We have a Garnet red. red that we did last night that uh -huh. dries to almost a barn red. Uh -huh. And then we have a candy apple, which is like a fire engine red. Um, no, you don't have to glaze. I think what you're saying is asking if you need to seal. Sealing is totally up to you, and you can use a wax or a sealer. Yep. Uh, Jennifer J. Uh, in South Carolina says, can you wash it? Yeah. If you seal it, you can wash it. If you use it as a chalk piece, uh, we suggest a wet you know, a wet towel and lightly wiping it down. Yeah, because it's like uh, wash, Amy, Amy Lee said, you two are adorable. I'm following your trail. Sister. Uh -huh. Well, guess what? We'll see what happens. It, it's Cut tough. along with us for. It's uh, tough being this cute. We are like tribbles. Um, <laughs> Good God. Barbara Jock, Matt, can you get some better lighting working in the shadows? Well, we're working in a small space. Usually I have a uh, movie type setup because that's what I do in my spare time, but we just have a lot of uh, yeah. space. And we have some space. new lights coming too, so that will help. Uh, Tim O'Banion says the cameraman needs to do the next job. Come around. No, he does out. not. Yeah, Anyways. <laughs> yeah, there you go. How the weekend that? left. The weekend felt like October. Yeah, it did. Yes, it did. Yeah. Here too. But, you know, it kind of made me happy. Uh, are you still thinking of doing a workshop uh, on how to market? Yes, we are. Yes. We're thinking of doing a monthly thing to, to help, people to help you grow your yep. business. Yep. Uh, Karen's missing your headband. Lori Slint says hi. Hi, hey, Lori. Uh, I'm missing my headband, too. Allison says hello from Boise, Idaho. Actually, we had uh, fries from Boise, Idaho today, or at least potatoes. We have five guys and fries. So, uh, Marsha's checking in from Illinois. Teresa says hello to Lori. Uh, can I paint a wood floor? If, if so, how many ask. jars for a 20 by 15 foot room? Oh, I, uh, I'm message us, that. message us uh, after the show. Yes, we have, and we have, and we've done it. So, anyway, I can send you some pictures. Sonia Kettler, I'm back. That <laughs> is really creepy, Sonia. So, hey, how are you doing? Uh, a little goes a long way, it seems. It goes a really long yes, way. Yes, I'm still working on the same jar. So, anyway. um, uh, Michelle Dreschel, Dreschel. Seriously, is that your last name, Buttermilk Barn? Michelle? I mean, that is a very interesting last name. That, that is probably the most American name that I've ever heard of. That's true. Amy says you make it look so easy. That's because... Yes, it is! Yes, yes, yes. Heck yeah. Sonia says, love the fact you can apply your paint to anything. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you can have yes. fun with it. Uh, hello from Arkansas. Hey, what's up, Arkansas? So, anyway, she put pig, uh, uh, pig emojis. No, yep. I want bacon. Jones <laughs> checking in from Jersey. Hey, uh, Jersey. Angela Martin's checking in from Ohio. Very nice. Uh, she says it looks lovely. Uh, Harley Angel says, I'm not even done what yet, guys. if the furniture you paint, uh -huh. you will paint, 
you're not sure if it has uh, wax, if it has furniture wax on it. You will know if it has furniture wax because you can touch it and feel it. And it will feel sticky. If it's waxy. just like a wax that's set, yeah. the paint will go right over it. Yeah, but if it's one that, that you mean is furniture? not really dried, it, it will it will kind of... Yeah, just make sure yeah. it's it's going over a dry surface and you'll be yeah. good. Uh, Lori Baker Slints, Teresa wants to know when you're getting together and try this, right? Um, actually, tomorrow. I, 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 you guys will get together tomorrow and you will do this. <laughs> So, everybody's saying hello to each other. Nice. Uh, we don't know each other. That's so Terry fun. Fiasco, uh, Harper Yay. Road, All right. says, can I have your address? I want to visit you. Yeah, absolutely. Only if you promise not to break our hearts. So, uh, it's 111 South Market Street, Ligonier, Pennsylvania, uh, 15658. Okay, I'm what is the, the closest hair. red to Coca-Cola To what? Coca-Cola oh, Garnet Garnet red. No, um, no, 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 no. <clears throat> It would be you go tell colors. Hair. I'm going to turn the hair dryer. I will. Okay. I want, I want, I want. It's loud. We're going to run away to the corner here. We're running away to the corner because it's loud. So, I thought, you can show the table that we did last night. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You guys want to see the table we did last night? So this is the table we did last night. Here, let's get some light on this. So, you remember this one from last night? Yeah. Oh, thanks, John. Can we ever get to see your face? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Matt's like the man of Jennifer the says, man South Carolina. I'm in Massachusetts, 25 minutes from Boston. <clears throat> We uh, take the road, we go up there quite a bit. I take the class, love the color. Share promotion short walk soon, I love the color. Order paint a couple days ago, can't wait to go bananas with it. I believe I saw yours go out. Right. Yeah. Uh, do you can't charge a flat rate of shipping only when it, even if it's one jar? Believe it or not. Yes, because to be honest with you, if we were to send one jar, and they did it by weight. Even the Pittsburgh, it's like eight dollars, and we're eight dollars. It's more like eleven to twelve. Is it? Yes. I, I am. Yeah, that was yesterday. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, all right. so that's for so, you guys, so that you can get up to six yeah, dollars. Yeah, in one one, because most likely, if you're working with a piece, like get your browns, get your blacks, because those are the basics where you can do things like this. You can do the dab, dab, dabs, right? Dab, dab, that dab, sort dab, of dab, thing, dab, because dab, dab, blacks dab. and browns. Um, and even a white, those are the things that you can highlight with, you can create shadows with, and then pick a fun color to go with it. Kind of oh, Buttermilk Barn is her business name. Well, that's the most American business name I've ever heard in my <laughs> life. So, do you actually do buttermilk? Because I'm a buttermilk freak. She'll tell you. I make buttermilk cheeses. I drink buttermilk for breakfast. The thicker, the better. I love buttermilk. He does, and he's lactose intolerant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because he can't give it up. Karen he says it's so it. relaxing watching you paint. You need to be on my end doing my job. <laughs> Are you doing the inside of the drawers? No. And the reason why we don't do the inside of the drawers is because you... Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> well, <laughs> actually... We, we can if we really want. Yeah, you can. But the thing it is, is when you start throwing stuff in there, you get a lot of movement in there. Things move around and it gets, it gets messed up. Are you talking so, about the hinges and stuff like that? Yeah. So, anyways, uh, ooh, I got another name. I gotta go. Shut that off for a second. Okay, go ahead. Montserrat Estrada de Garza. Ooh, wow. What do you recommend to make over old rustic furniture? What we're doing Heck right yeah. now. Heck yeah, this drives to a flat mat. Yep, this absolutely. Is so, anyways. By the way, if you ever want something that's not flat mat, all you do is you still use the the paint, of course, because the properties allow you to be able to use it so easy. But if I wanted this super shiny and not to maintain the flat uh, look that it has, all they gotta do is pick a, for example, a poly coat, a poly clear coat that um, comes in like a semi-gloss okay. or a gloss. Lisa, Lisa Malecki. Top loud, this is right here. Okay, Lisa Malecki, is your paint chalk paint? No. And the reason why, style. the reason why is chalk paint is a brand name. It's um, a copywritten brand name. It's a copywritten brand name. So nothing is 
chalk paint except for the main chalk paint brand. Uh, it is a chalk style, but it's not a chalk paint. Yeah. I am from Glen Glendale, Arizona. How do we know what time you're going to be on? Um, we don't we even don't. know we what like time. We like to surprise yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, we, work we like to so, surprise ourselves. Yeah, we work so much we don't, we don't know. But usually in the evenings, okay guys? Yeah. Um, Jennifer Dreyer has a bottle of, uh, that got a bit damaged from spilled essential oil. From what? Essential oil. Essential oil? That ate away the varnish yeah. and sand. Yeah. Uh, do you need the sand? No, but I would suggest it. Just you to what? make sure. She wants to know she should sand. Um, uh, make no, sure get some of the oils out. Yeah, but you would want to to kind of get rid of things. Just make sure it's dry. Yeah. Jesse Gagoval, can you paint over a table that has the clear coating? What I need to sand. No sanding, no priming. You go right over top of it. Nope. And if you so. ever see me sand, it's usually to get like something <laughs> that might be stuck on the top of it. But here's the honest truth. This stuff grips to everything. But if you really want to make sure it has a really, really super good grip, and especially if you're working on a table it, set, you can go the distance and take a sand pad and just kind of buff it here, over the here's top. Here's a good one. And really open up the wood pores. Because the paint, in combination with just even doing a little bit of a hand sand, really makes it even all that more durable. Here's a good one. But, she, watching Liza's watching us while visiting in-laws, trying to be sneaky because she doesn't want to miss out. Don't be sneaky. <laughs> Turn it up. We'll talk really low like yeah. this. Okay. Shh, yeah. So April Fultz said, I see knee pads. Yes, we yes. finally found it. That's the knee so, pads on today. Uh, oh, Had cool. to go find it in the basement. I'm glad you like to drop Shadow Table. Uh, keep Table, Keep Table. Man, I'm really behind on comments. Uh, yeah, dude, like pick it up. Right I'm trying to. You're being loud. You got one. You're being loud. So, uh, I don't know. I'll so be all dry. Uh, Matt, go over about how many pieces you can do with a jar of paint. Um, for newcomers, we say one jar, one project. But to be honest with you, uh, you can. We can get two or three projects the size of this desk out of one jar. Um, so, well, Kristen, I'm glad you made it. Uh, Margie says you finally wore them. That's because we finally found them. If you want a flat mat, you just need a fast car. Ha, 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 ha. That's my, that's my weakness is, is cars. That's funny. So, anyways, All right, well, let's just continue to dry a little bit by air. So what would be really nice right now if you're working on a piece can, like this? Can I, can I get your glaze and paint for me? Yes. Yeah. Go to, um, we have a shop now button at the top of our page. And you can browse all 32 of our colors. Hi from Vero Beach, Florida. Hey, Linda, I want... Say beach? Linda Yoder Sherrard. Oh, Linda, you're a Yoder, so we're a distant cousin. Um, through, yeah, so through, yeah, so guess run. what? Let we're moving in, because... I'll be right back. This is my paint. I need my glaze. Oh, now That's you're okay. talking. It adheres to every... Yes, it does. Keep checking. Yes, yes, it does. Becky's checking in from San Antonio. Uh, Jennifer, it spilled 20 years ago. I spilled on my mom's dresser in high school. I later inherited that dresser. Yeah, I, I wonder why you inherited it. She needs a heat gun. Um, yeah, usually we do use a heat gun when we're working on, uh, like if we're being super fast. But uh, like I said, because we're talking, we don't want to get distracted and cause any bubbling in the piece. So, Valicia, back from Pittsburgh. What's up, girl? Hey, hey did you, you get your package, Valicia? Um, it should yeah, be there. To share. Yeah, she should be there. Yeah. Anybody um, who shares while we're live right now, uh, your name is being entered behind the scenes into a drawing, and Matt will go ahead and pull up okay. and see, find out who the winner is, and uh, at the very end announce. You have two minutes to respond, and uh, then collect your prize. Yeah, uh, Catherine, uh, yeah. if you missed the video last night, just go down through the feed. You'll find it there. Yep. Did you paint black first? We just painted the edges in black. So now I'm going to do some glazing. This down here is still kind of drying to the touch. <laughs> Hang on a second. I want to tell you something. Before right. I forget, this is the second time I tried to say it, all right? Don't let me forget. If you're working on a project like this and it's a little bit bigger, I'm using the hair dryer, okay, to kind of speed things up. Normally, <clears throat> if you guys weren't here, what I could do is walk away and have some munchies and then come back and let it sit. Or and we it'll be set, right? 
Or, well, I don't even use that so often, right? Because anymore, if you're, if you're working gun. on a project, yeah. you know, pain in my face. Or you can get, you're more of the heat gun lover. Um, you can go outside and do this. But if you were to soak a fan right now just so that you have air circulation, this will dry so fast. Like, this is all dried up here. This was the last part so that I just painted, so it's taking a little bit of extra time. So I'm just going to kind of keep working. Let that continue to air dry, and I might hit it again with the hair dryer in a second. And this says, actually from PA, dad's from Big Valley. We could be cousins. Um, listen, girl, if your last name's Yoder, you're probably related. We are related. It's like all Hoss right. Stetler. All Yoders, all Hoss Stetlers are related. Prepare for launch. So, anyways, so lucky you. Okay. <laughs> Who's ready to talk glaze? Who's ready to talk glaze? All right, and see some glazing go down right now, some glazing action. So here's what you're gonna need. We have a brown or we have oh, a black. Oh, we're glazing again. Yes. Oh so my remember, gosh. I showed you at the beginning. I'm trying to mirror the this look right here. Listen, I still think we're working on this piece here from last time. Yeah, come remember. on, stick with me here, dude. No, stick with me. Is the All glaze right. the same as the glaze. paint? Glaze. All right, no. No, it's um, glaze is definitely not. It's good. our brand. It's but it acts different, and we'll show you yeah. why. So what I'm doing now is I'm putting on the glaze. I'm pretty sure mm. this is song, putting on the glaze. Putting on the glaze. Putting on the glaze. Mm. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and swipe it all over. I'm not going to be slow with this. I'm going to try to do it as fast as I can because remember, this paint will grab it, right? Yep. Now, the nice thing is that, um, again, because we make our glaze, I make it in a way that it can swing kind of free and you can do your thing. It's not going to really, really like grip on or anything. So go ahead and do like one surface at a time, like one side at a time, one drawer at a time. I would not glaze all over this part and then go back over it. Just do oh, one thing oh, at a time. Oh, Amy, just wait. It's cool. Um, I know the days were open. We're open Wednesday through Sunday, 11 to 5. All right, I'm, I'm spraying some water up, on my rag. It's a lint-free rag, and I'm getting ready for the magic. Because what I'm going to do is, remember how I darkened the edges? Now I'm going to give some, like, dark striations, just some dark look all throughout it, okay? So brown is probably the most common that you use in an antiquing glaze because it is an antiquing glaze. And so usually things that um, age over time have a brown look, right? But we also do a fun black one. And now let me just tell you, putting it over things like um, blues and really like corals and all that sort of stuff, you can change up the look so, so nice. So if I want it to, like this is a pretty plain top, but imagine this if it was a piece of furniture and it had carved pieces, I could really leave the black in the details, right? And really, really just make Are something Are you really talking cool. about this mirror? What mirror? This mirror. Who? I'm having a private conversation, yeah. thank you very much. This Here mirror is very much for sale. Yes. So anyways, Mary Beth Allen says, looks like you have a lot of new viewers tonight. Oh, that saw your frame video earlier. That's so great. Yay! I've been a jump monkey video grippy. I know Mary Beth. I've seen you. Excuse me. Come over we here. We love that you love watching us. So. <laughs> like I say, we don't think we're interesting, but we appreciate that yeah, you do. Yeah, we do because you yeah. know I wouldn't watch. You. <laughs> I wouldn't watch us. Would you watch us? No. no. I don't know. I don't know. Is that the same color blue you used the other night? Oh, uh, other on the dresser or no, on this bench? That was probably the Bahama Jade or thinking. Yeah, this we used uh, teal on this bench. All right, let's go ahead and no, put some black on here. So remember, you can do a brown, you can do a black. What's that fun is mirror. yes, it is. You can for experience. Sale. You're going to show yourself in the mirror. Our mirror is how much is it? Twenty five. It's twenty five dollars for that mirror. We and, have two of those. And actually, so it has a these. twin right over there. They have, um, yeah, it goes for, uh, what was I going to say? Gosh, I totally just If you didn't like the glaze came out, could you paint it? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You That's can the paint. fun with it. You yeah. can paint right over it. That is the fun. And I'm going to do some distressing on top of this as well because what's really cool is when you think about distress Joyce, style, if you share, you can win. Everybody shares and yeah. stays on here for a winner announcement. Could win a free jar of paint. We're giving away a jar of paint. For 30 days. This is day eight, so somebody, uh, somebody our... tell Leslie that she um, needs to restart her client. Like her... Uh, her or what? Well, she has no sound. Okay, yeah. So somebody she, type uh, it in below. Sonia, hey, Leslie, make sure you... What does uh, she need to do? Yes, Sonia, we do ship our paint. Go up to the top. It's $15 flat rate shipping. Yep. For up to six jobs. So it's much cheaper than flying here. It basically, it's $7.50 each way on gas, okay? So you can't beat it. Okay. And it arrives usually at your doorstep, which yep. is awesome. Uh, Irene, then, Irene or Gail, what, what's your problems, girl? We've got to help you. 
So what's the easiest way to cover oil-based paint? Uh, with our stuff, you just paint, paint over, over it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe I will win my black paint tonight. Oh, uh, Robin, you just want to come out and see me again. <laughs> You're going to make your husband jealous. So. <laughs> You're so bad. Gina Coleman is from uh, Omaha, Nebraska. Wait, second Omaha, Nebraska. No, the mirror, the mirror. Um, we don't ship the mirror, unfortunately. Oh, uh, no. no you just, know what? I've it, never gotten into shipping furniture because yeah. you guys know for, shipping furniture is so expensive. And then it's like I would worry about... Say the name of the paint, please. I would really worry about things getting broken before it even got to you guys. Yeah, say the name of the paint. What? We're having a Heisenberg moment here. Say the name of the paint. Okay. Say the name of the paint. Say it. Who are you talking you. to? You. Me? Yeah, I said we're having a Heisenberg moment because Terry wants to, yeah, Terry wants to know the name of the paint. Oh, it's Junk Monkey Paint. So just like Grease Monkeys tinker with mechanics, Junk Monkeys tinker with old furniture and stuff to bring new life to, right? Yes. We fix it up. We mix yes. it, make it look really cool. You're and, gosh uh, darn right it's Junk Monkey. <laughs> So, we're, we're the dealers of Jump Monkey Paint. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So, how do I purchase one of the mirrors? Right, well, you'd you have one. to come to the shop okay. because we just can't ship a mirror. It just would be too much and the shipping would be yeah. too much. Um, we make a trip to come see us. Yeah, you can come visit us. <laughs> we got a ton She's of probably stuff. probably like the listen, of this corner of the listen, world. Listen, if you come to visit girl. us, we guarantee you that you would have enough to keep you busy for four weeks if you came to our area. So, anyways. What do you guys think so far? Oh, the right? killer. I know it's Shunt Monkey. Well, well, it's fine, Steel River. Terry. Yeah, it's Steel River. I wish I did. So I can take off as much as I want, uh, leave on totally. as much as I want. I'm sorry I missed I the question there, Tori. So, uh, Mint Park. Okay. Let's see, let's see this part over here. Right. Almost dry. On yeah. Side you got to get underneath there. You gotta get underneath there. So it is Tuesday night. Is it possible to paint over finish that was crackled? Yeah, but you're still gonna have the texture that was underneath it unless you sand it off. No, it's not wax, it's glaze. We are not, we we personally are not wax fans. Um, you can seal with wax. Yeah, we, we actually have lots of customers. Yeah, we have tons of customers that use wax. We actually uh, seal with water-based polyacrylics. We'll show you at the very end here what we Sonia use. Sonia said she'll be coming from Kerrville, Texas. Hill Texas. Country. Well, I'll yeah. tell you what. If I come to Texas, I'll look you up. I'll let you know, and we'll do some paint. Well, we've got to go to San Antonio to visit all of our friends. In I really want to go. I'd love to. Terry go to Bradley Texas. Smith, don't quit your day job. Terry Bradley Smith, you know he I quit my friend. day job. It's our friend Terry. <laughs> I know. That's why I said you know I quit my job. <laughs> So, Alicia says, I love that. Can't wait to paint this week. Yay. So, oh, what anyway. projects are you going to do? Yeah. What projects do you guys is, have in mind? Is the glaze the final step? The glaze is actually an optional step. Yeah. It's, it's you the don't part even have where to you use decide if you want to darken it, if you yeah. want to antique it. It's up to you. Does the poly yellow, not poly, water-based polyacrylic? No. That's why we use it, because the water base does not yellow. Yeah, the yellow, um, the yellowing comes from the oils when you use an oil base, yeah. and things amber over time. Karen okay. said you're on a Bahama Jade kick. This isn't Bahama Jade. This is a teal river. <laughs> it's teal, it's teal But river. I would do Bahama Jade any day of the week. But yeah, you're right. She has been on a Bahama Jade kick. <laughs> so, Alice says our big winner the from last night. Coming. Says hello from Grand Prairie. Welcome back. Hello. Uh, Charlene says my sister lives in Kerrville too. Cool. Well, there you go. You're gonna have to have a big painting party. Yep, we're gonna have uh, a big painting party. Uh, <laughs> Kristen just bought six jars and a new trunk to paint. Ooh, look at what new trunk. Sonia says she lives one hour away from San Antonio. Ooh, well, I'll let you know. We so, come down. Yeah, we have to yeah, go yeah, for a yeah. visit. So what stencil tonight, Lori? Oh, I got one in mind. No, we're not stenciling yes, again, are we? You guys know oh. what a stencil. Oh, I got stencil needs, fatigue. Somebody needs their dab, oh. dab, dab oh. fixed tonight. Let's well, just thank say, you very God, much. God, if somebody was her. listening to that, they'd be like, what the heck dab, are you dab, talking dab, about dab, here? Dab, dab, dab. A dab, dab, dab fix. Like, I don't know, man. That sounds um, like Sonny Cutler says, you want me to come feed the deer. The if what? I come and feed the deer, I will want to make sausage out of the deer. Oh, I so love bad. deer. I'm sorry. Oh they're, dear, they're I so love tasty. Deer. I, I'm a farm boy from Pennsylvania. So I grew up on deer bologna and uh, 
What? You guys eat moose. There's no difference between deer and moose. I never yeah. saw deer until I came to the United States. Well, it's just a smaller moose, a cousin. So Deborah Hernandez Malone said she used to use junk monkey paint. She yep. used junk monkey paint with brown glaze, or junk monkey brown glaze and loved it. Well, thank you very Yay! much. Yay! Christine says she's oh, from Fort Myers. I got something to talk We're well, moving we're... in with Christine, too. Okay, well, what she got? She lives in Fort Myers. She's beach, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tori, oh. Tori says you inspired me to redo my end tables this weekend. Still haven't decided what Do you want to come around here so people can see? I, I really don't want to. Okay. I, I think you're going to yell at me. I think you stay you're over there. You stay over there. I'm like an elephant that doesn't forget. I'm just letting you know. I'm just yeah, maybe you know. we need to have a centralized meetup at these different places because people are going, I would drive two hours to San Antonio yeah. to meet you, and we were in. Listen, so, anybody, I'm, I'm planning a trip to Waco, Texas. I need to go to Waco, Texas. So uh, we, we all just, we could just meet up there. I went to Waco a couple times when I was well, stationed at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Well, you know what? You're lucky, but yeah, I, I, went to I, I can't live my life, too, and I need to go down, and I need to, to go to Waco, Texas. Has I'm anybody been there, and uh, would you recommend it? Tell me if you have. Well, Waco is a nice little town. It's just that we're, we're, we probably Listen, have... Listen, they probably we, have beer and be, cocktails. You'd be well, fine. Well, they do, but we'd be driving way out of our way if we're going to San Antonio. I want to go to San Antonio for tacos and burritos. Ooh, ooh. And, okay, well, you are speaking my love language there, too. Yes. So. All right, let's see. Anyway, Joanna Shelley, Gaines Tacos. Hey, Joanna Gaines Tacos. Shelly Bellavo. Well, you're not going to meet them. That's okay. It's like we went to Oddity's place. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, we met somebody that was on the show, but hey, we, uh... Did you guys ever yeah. watch that show? It's not, no oh, longer it? on anymore. Yeah, it's it still on. It's on Science Channel. I've never seen it. We just it's don't get to Science Channel. Is that what it is? Yes. We went to New York to see the Oddities uh, shop. Yeah. And up in uh, actual on, New York City. Yeah, on East 10th Avenue. It, how do you even remember that? Because I had to walk like 20 blocks to get there. We did. It seemed like we walked forever. <laughs> so, yeah. so. I feel like we walked forever. I'm pretty sure it felt like... Yeah. Well, we met the one girl that was a model, a mortician, and the one guy who appeared on the show. Uh, what was his time. name? Edgar? Is that what it was? Yeah, Edgar. I don't even know how I remember that. Don't even know. Is that a straight jacket? Yeah. Anybody yes. know what we're talking about? Or He's you actually a really brilliant playwright. Some of his plays are magnificent. I don't so, know. Anyway. Anybody know what that is? What? A playwright? No! The show. Uh, yeah, yeah. Talking about? Well, I'm getting there. I got to answer these questions. Okay. Shelly Bellavo from Maine, our friend from Maine, says she's still thinking about painting dining room table. Okay. But she's scared to get started on it. Tell you what. Oh, pick one. Tell you what, Shelly. What you do is you go Shelly down. Belly. You go down to your uh, local like thrift store, Habitat for of Humanity. Did I just crack that? Yeah, I think you did. I did. You I did. just broke yep. a piece. You just broke it. You know what? Now you broke it. You bought it. Okay. I did. I yeah, you look, broke it, you bought it. Look what look, I did. Look what you did. You I broke the olive it. sign. You know, I you broke, broke my olive. heart. It says, I love you more, right? Yeah. And he broke it, and he broke my heart. Now, look. I hope that's it. not a sign of things come. What you do <laughs> is, uh, Shelly, you go down to your local architectural salvage store, buy some, like, cabinet doors, and practice on yes. that first. That's a great idea. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Kristen Donnie has already started. Ha, ha, ha. Dab, 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 dab. <laughs> uh, so... Maria Progus says, I might be in the Austin area in November. Ooh. So, that would Austin, be a nice time I guess to go be south, on the right? Round. Does 40 run through Austin? I can't remember. Don't ask me. Uh, Diane said, yeah. Kansas. Um, Colette wants to know, same rag, do you have to use a clean one after a while? Um, no, because I mean, it, you can see how like, kind of muddy it gets, and that's okay. But when it gets to the point where it's sucked up so much, because the deal is that you need one to put it on. And um, you also, if you put on too much, it's nice to have a dry one. So I kind of started with this one. You see how wet that's gotten from putting it on? And this, I was using this for, to dry it off. At this point, so much glaze is picked up on here that I put this <laughs> down. And now I'm just making it, finishing up with this one. Uh, okay? Hang on. Me and Amy Lee got to do a side deal. She said I can send you venison for paint. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Why are you working it tonight? Yeah. I think and Gary Trotter said, how far are you from Dingman's Ferry? Is what county is Dingman's Ferry in? I hear it. I just can't remember where it is. Sonia says we can hunt off the deck. Um, oh, my gosh. Galen Fry is an Annie Sloan addict herself down in New Zealand. Go ahead. Let me come over here. I am being repositioned so I don't yes. break anything out. Kind of put that in and see how it's coming uh, together, guys. You know? What do you guys think so far? I have far? Beer in my freezer. You come to Missouri. Would love to paint with you in the Ozarks. Well, I'd like to come to the Ozarks. My grandfather, who was a big time bootlegger back in the 30s, 
Well, he wasn't. He was more of a moonshiner than bootlegger, but he did both, depending on what money was. He went to the Ozarks and he got some of the finest stuff I ever had in my this life in the dry. Ozarks. Very, very nice. Um, and I'm talking about bacon. Come over here. No, not Come really. Over here again. <laughs> okay. Terry, Terry says Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Yes, Waco's awesome. Got to go to yeah. Magnolia See, market. told you, told you. All right, Terry you Bradley stand this says way so ninety-nine cent tacos. Where? What? Tacos. We'll see. Just stand right there. Well, geez. so I can talk to them. Stand I want right to give them a tip. Yes, okay. yes. Okay. I know that you're all concerned Maria tacos. says Joe Gaines probably watches your videos. Joe Gaines. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah. What kind of laugh yeah. was that? That was my nerd laugh. Yeah, I can tell. I, my nerd laugh comes out every once in a while. <laughs> the little... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's you just know. scary. You know what I'm talking about. You've heard oh, that. Oh, yeah, that's just scary. Yeah. How did you guys meet or is it a long story? It's a long story of a short meeting. I'll tell you in just a second. Oh, okay. What did you just say? Anyway, I got to tell you real fast before I do this. So you guys know that I put black on here, the black velvet. Then I also put the teal river on here. Then I use the black glaze to kind of give it the whole look overall, right? Now I'm going to take a sand pad. I'm actually going to knock off just a little bit of the paint so it exposes just a little bit of what was below it, okay? So you can come over here, Matt. Okay, listen, the rag we were using for the glaze was just from the, from the dollar store. Yeah, actually. It was one dollar. It, it's reusable. I get, listen, we do yeah. this on a budget, guys. Yeah, we don't spend a lot of money. Eight rags. So, yeah, dollar. don't let anybody yeah. fool you and tell you you need to have all this stuff. When I first started, um, you know, I thought that I needed cheesecloth. Do you know how expensive cheesecloth is? Let me just tell you. Go price it. It's not cheap. So my whole thing is being able to do pieces that are beautiful without, like I say, breaking the bank, where you don't feel guilty because you just spent a ton of money in paint and you only got one color. When you so, maybe you want to do a couple different colors. Laurie Scott, we're going to hire her as our new marketing person. Okay, over right here. She said, create a mobile painting bus, go to Goodwill on the way, pick up furniture. <laughs> We're in a hotel space and charge for pop-up classes. Okay, what? come stand over here. Oh my gosh. Follow wait, me. Wait, wait. Stick with me. You got Don't stuff bring everywhere. Anything. Yeah, yeah. I know the furniture's coming out the bite again, isn't it? Yeah. All right, let's see here. You guys see what I'm doing? So I'm just putting some Would natural work wear with and beach tear. stuff. Yes, we do okay, all kinds of beach stuff, stuff, believe it or not. All right. Oh, thank God for so, knee pads. All right, let's go. Let's Reyes, go. Tech, and Monroeville. Oh, is it really? Um, I haven't gotten there. I usually hit the, uh, you know, Kidova and places like that. Uh, actually, here Friday night, Terry, um, there's a Mexican family that comes here, and they do authentic Mexican at our next door place. I had elote. I haven't had elote since I was in Central America. That was the bomb. And I had chicones and salsa verde there, tacos. It was unbelievable. I just think it technically may be pencil. <laughs> so, anyway. My dad bootlegged too in West Virginia. Well, actually, I was we're only about 40 minutes from the West Virginia line, so uh, I'm sure they crossed paths back in the day. Love the pop-up class idea. So you could actually layer colors onto it? Yes, you could layer whatever you want onto yes. it. Yes. So uh, one thing I want to say real quick before yes. Matt talks to all his friends here is Are you jealous? to tell you, Are you guys. Jealous? Well, I want to tell them. They're going to ask you the steps, and you're going to need me to tell you in a minute. So you know what? Pay <laughs> attention. Uh, so I wanted to tell you guys, that, to the person that just said about layering different, different colors, that's how you really get a weathered look. Because think about a piece that maybe uh, you see by the side of the road and, you know, the weather's gotten to it, it's, it's beaten with, the, with Mother Nature, and you see, like, all different layers of paint peel through. Because you know what? Grandma painted her kitchen a million different colors, right? So it's when, that's what makes distress is when you see layers of maybe paint over the years that have gotten exposed to the weather, and now you're seeing them all peel back. So in this case, I've got a black going on, I've got teal going on, I've got that uh, black glaze going on, which also kind of like, um, what's the word to use? Just kind of like gives it a whole different effect as well, where you, you see that shade, shade going on. And I've got a little bit of distressing, because remember, this was the color of the actual piece before. But by building all this together, it just overall creates a much more weathered, heavier piece, right? So what do you guys think so far? I've got to put a stencil on it. Got to put a stencil on it. Yeah, Alana, you're right. Um, the elote was so good. They did a homemade like uh, mayo lime uh, habanero sauce on it. It was oh my gosh, the chili powder was okay, so now good. Okay, you're making me hungry. So good. Um, so many colors. I want them all. What grit sandpaper? This is just a medium grit yep. sand pad. 
Yeah. Yeah. Don't put, don't go with a fine. Just do a medium or even a coarse. But I like medium because it doesn't grip too much. But too fine, you got you got to really make too many swipes to get Beth, any sort of. Beth traction. said her great grandmother was the mistress of a very major bootlegger in Florida. He was uh, killed in a shootout with the feds. Beth is talking my language now about the rum runners because I am a rum guy. <laughs> so anyway. Do you have orange? Oh, do we have orange? Oh, yeah. Actually, we should show her. We just we made, have, yeah, we, uh, we may grab a jar to show them. Yeah. We just totally yeah. refilled on We the have... Spice has been selling so much of it. Yes. We have two oranges that we do. The pumpkinator, which turns everything we have into, you have into a pumpkin. Uh -huh. And then we have a more uh, demure yeah. one called yeah. ginger spice. So we make this here on site. So we've been selling a lot of paint and especially it's fall, right? I hate yeah. to say it, but fall's coming so, up. So bright. So you always look in the jar. It looks a little bit different in the jar, but yeah, look at the paint. It, yeah, um, it's over there. It's look over at there. the painted um, jar that goes see, with see, it. See, see, see. And you can really see it. Purple Let's and go. black velvet. Yes. Uh, we, Chipotle on. girl, we need a Chipotle date. We were big Chipotle people. I kind of burnt myself yeah, out. Chipotle. I ate mm -hmm. so much of it. I think I made myself sick of it. True story. True story. All right, I'm gonna put it. <laughs> Tell Beth. In here. Of course we will. Yes, Beth. What do you guys think? Can oh, you see? Can oh, you see? It's the owl. It's the owl. Can so, you mix your paints together? Absolutely. Yes, you you totally can. Together. Absolutely. Um, yeah, just maybe like with a stir stick or something like that. Hang on one like second. So I'm gonna put an owl on here, and oh, I'm trying to think. Do I want to do? I think I'm gonna. I think I know what I need. What are you doing? What, are you I'm showing them the one? difference between ginger spray and orange. Okay. I'm just breaking everything tonight. Yeah. So, oh, so you can see the difference between the bright orange and the ginger spice. We'll which, do something for fall here soon. Yeah, that. yeah. So, anyways, so bright orange. Uh, oh, everybody's getting ready for the dab song. Heck yeah! So All the right. dab song. Let me get so. my, let me get hey my Pam, dab. what's up? My daughter loves owls. How do you win? Do you have to share? Yes, you have to share, and you have to stay on for whenever we announce. So, anyways. I'm putting this back, so hang on a second. Let me put everything back on the shelf. And uh, yay, stencils. Love owls also. All right. So all right. there we go. So even though the piece I've done is all black and teal, I'm mm -hmm. kind of thinking right now I could do a white, like a white creamy owl or a white right. owl, or I could go black, but I don't want him to, like, I really want him to stand out, right? I don't want him to get all... Remember how last night I told you how you can put your stencil... I think it was last night or the night before. I told you that you can put your stencil down before you glaze if you want to kind of mute it out. But I think I'm going to give this guy a little pop, okay? So I'm going to put him right here. And uh, I'm going to do him in a different color. I'm going to do him in a light. Erna says she has a desk that we can do in orange. Oh, you have a desk? Yes. Is that for one of your boys, Erna? All right. Uh, love the tail. I'll be out. awesome. What do you win? You win a free jar of Junk Monkey Paint. Yep. Or if you're across the border in the, uh, Mexico, Mexico or Canada, you'd win a shirt. Yep. So there you go. So anyways, oh, everybody share, share, yeah, share. Sure. Alice, I hate to tell you, you won last night, can't win again. Sorry. Sorry. So, we still love you though. Yes, we still love you and thank you for being here. Now you have to send us a picture of your project so we can... Yes. Uh, we can totally uh, inspire everybody else. Hey, come over here real fast. How about yellow with black stain? Yes, we've done that. That piece. would be so nice. And we'll do a yellow piece. Pretty fantastic. Okay. Right. So Where true story, you can still see some of the tape that's on this, um, that is actually on the stencil. So if you want to hold your stencil in place, a lot of times, guys, you'll see me just hold it with my hands. Uh, my floor is on level here. But um, honestly, if you really, if you're nervous about like keeping your stencil down, get some what's called painter's tape. The reason why is it's clean release, so it doesn't take your paint finish with you. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna yeah, go Europe, ahead. Yeah, Europe, you can enter too by sharing. Yeah, and absolutely. Get a T-shirt as yep. well. So Marie, we just can't ship being paint outside in Ireland, the country. We just can't ship paint. That's not our rule. That's oh, there else. you go. You're breaking hearts. Brush, 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 brush. <laughs> brush, 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 brush. We can do a little dabby down here. Dab, 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 dab. Yep. Dab, 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 dab. Remember, less is more, brush, brush, right? Brush, 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 brush. There you go. You can kind of dab it to get it in there. Brush. The reason why I dab, dab is, dab, dab, is dab, to dab, get dab, it dab. off the brush, dab, and then dab, you can dab, kind dab. of do a swipe motion, brush. okay? Dab, dab, dab. But this dab, is going to create a really cool dab, distressed effect dab, without dab, having dab, to put an entire dab, lot of paint. Dab, dab, I've not reloaded my brush, okay? Dab, dab, dab. There you go. Dab, dab. There you go. Dab, dab, dab. Make you happy? Dab, dab. There you go. Dab, dab, dab. There you go. Let's get his little forehead. Dab, dab. Dab, dab, what do you think? I think we got him all, right? We just want to make sure we kind of at least get the silhouette of him. You see all the... she won like a year and a Never came to 
can't claim her paint in West Overton. What are we going to do with her? Oh, what I'm are we going to do with her? Where do you get your stencils? Do you have so many stencils? You yes. have no idea. Um, I, I've collected a lot, but I will tell you that um, one of my Barbara favorite says, places... Barbara dab, 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 her night's complete. <laughs> um, yeah, come take a look over here, too. I'm going to seal it here in just a second. But um, I do like to get a lot of stencils at Hobby Lobby. I will tell you that. It's probably my favorite because they have such a massive... Anybody else vouch for me out there that you can go and you get such a massive amount of different kinds of stencils. And the cool thing is um, that, you know, if you wanted to clean these, you can. I don't even always clean mine. You can tell here it's got the old junk method paint on it. It doesn't make a difference to me. It actually, to me, it keeps it stiff. So I kind of like that. So anyway, you can What do you clean, clean your up. brushes with? We usually just soap clean our brushes with soap and water. Yep. So now let's go our paint, this guy. Because our paints are uh, you can go over there, natural base, we just wash them off. Yep. So we're going to dry this real fast. So good deal, now I gotta seal it. So here is the deal. You see how he looks kind of faded? That's because I never re-dipped my paint brush, my chip brush in paint. So I just did one dip. I took as much off of it, off of it as I could. <laughs> and then I went ahead and hey, we, we created him, right? We almost got a dip, 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 Maybe it's a dip, 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 There you go. There you go. Brush, brush. Let me get this little hair out that's bugging me to death right here. Do you ever make your instant? Yes, we make our instant. Yeah, yeah. From you, time to time. You, you can. We have lots of time. Um, but yeah. Can you do shimmer on the wings? Shimmer on the they wings. They want shimmer on the wings. We could do shimmer on the wings. Yeah, better do it. We could They're do asking it. For shimmer on the wings. That would actually be nice because you people, see this you gold. people are, you people are ridiculous. Let's do some shimmer. Hobby Lobby let's is my some, jam. Let's do some shimmer. I like how these people <laughs> think. Give me one moment here. One moment. Ooh, yeah, that's right, stinks I, it back I gotta together. get all my different shimmer colors out. And for those of you who don't know, shimmer is metallic. Yeah. Um, that's what I call it. But uh, next, a shimmer. You get yeah, to shimmer when you shimmer. Yeah, you're gonna have to get shimmer. like the silvers. We gotta the... get them all out. We yes. actually moved locations here about maybe like what five weeks ago. Yeah. And uh, so We're we still, still have like stuff in boxes. Yes. Anybody else have moved and gone through that, and you're just like. Oh my gosh, like, is there ever any end? And how did I collect all this stuff? Like, how is that even possible? That's kind of where I am right now. But I do have uh, lots of other different metallic colors, and uh, I'm going to have to dig them out. I'm going to have to do it tomorrow. I'm just going to have to, like, make myself do it. Well, if you don't have Hobby Lobby, you can you always have uh, Michael's Joanne Fabric. And I think you can order Hobby Lobby online, too. Yeah, you can order Hobby Lobby online, or okay. if you want really high-end stencils, you go to Maison du Stencil. Yes. Okay. Does anybody remember about creating the uh, shadowed look from last night? Who remembers? Amaryllis. Amaryllis. Who remembers? Patience. We will Ship get to the ceiling. Down and shimmer, over. Shimmer, cocoa puff. Right? Oh, man. So I'm going to go down, bring it around town, down and over, just a little bit. And what that, what that does is it creates a little bit of, you're going to see some of the um, stuff that's on painted. So I go down, I go over. They said the wings only. Oh, no, we're going all the way now. Oh, you guys did it now. I mean, I could do the wings if I really wanted to. You guys to. did it now. All right, how about we do wings, and then you guys can tell me if you like it with just the wings. <laughs> my, or... My hubby will be nauseous after I go. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> repeating shift down and over. Yeah, you got people. it. You guys are awesome. Walmart actually has stuff. All right, stuff you ready? Tests. So tell me if you like it just like that. Should I go all over, or do you like just the shimmer on the wings? I'll go with what you guys think. Tell me. Shimmer all over? Okay. Show them so they can really see bring it. Bring it around Bring it around town. town. I will say, yeah, if you bring this camera off. down, real quick, babe, you can see how this color right here picks up on the wings, right? Cool, huh? Do you guys like it? So what do you think? Leave it as is, is just it? on the wings, just we a little bit. No leave it. Yep, let's leave it then. Bye, let's leave it. Ashley said Thanks. she's still packing after a year. Just yeah, wings. right. Yeah, they I like just you, like that. They like the wings. Okay, let's just leave it like that. Yep. All right, now I'm gonna dry and then I'm gonna seal it, and you watch what happens. Okay. okay? I know, so I'm getting rid of a lifetime of stuff. I can feel you. I'm just, just doing wings. a uh, good choice. Oh, wait, I said wings only. Good deal. Yeah. That's why you make it all different, right? It's like you uh, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. You can have some of it. So now I'm just doing a quick light brush over. Um, this is the same pad I use. I've kind of worn it down, all right? So I keep pads that I've used that were a more heavier grit, 
and after a while they get kind of like they get smoother feeling I keep those in a basket and I use them for a polish part so maybe at the very end of my piece before I polish if I just kind of especially in a flat surface if there's hairs like a brush hair or anything like that just give it a nice sweep over again you're gonna go with the grain of the wood and yeah it's gonna set up really really nice and I can do that on the sides as well and where's the, the charms off no it's a tootsie pot it was a tipsy pot. How many licks does it yes, take? To get? I Mr. That. Al, how many licks does it take? Ugh, Video Blacks was uh, was trying to watch about me. Oh, you were trying to watch at a meeting? That's why I got blacked out. You're being, <laughs> you're being punished. Um, Y'all are going to get home so early tonight. Yeah, probably 11 or midnight. What so, time is it now? I don't even know. It's, I have no idea what time it is. Well, remember, we're over here eight, on the believe. East Coast. Yes. So, yeah, it's... Uh, oh. Wait, we gotta show them what you're doing. Yes, yes, I'm pouring out some of my big giant bucket. Yes. And uh, so I can pour some poly. You guys see what I'm pouring it into? This is just trays. Oh. I can go to the dollar store and get like 200 of these for like two dollars. Yeah, it's kind of getting whited so, out uh, right here. So what's that? It's getting whited out. From okay, the let me move this over here. Can you see this any better? I can't. It's water based. Well, what do you want me to do with it? Here you go. I, that's here. fine. Okay. What, what was that all about? You guys about? see it? I don't know. I don't know. I was getting mixed messages. I so this tell. is what we use that does not yellow. So I just let you know. Oh, Karen sent us pictures of her backsplash. Who? Karen sent us pictures oh, of the backsplash that didn't peel. Did, yeah, she, we, did she add any, uh, any shimmer? Was that the we were just talking about uh, that this morning. Okay. No, she, doing it in Lake Taylor. Right? Here's what's fun, guys. Oh my gosh, why is this waiting out so bad? There we go. I can move it. It's, no, it's can like, you guys see it okay? It's really I think there's a shift in lighting from outside because it's starting to... Can you see it? You know Let me what see I'm what it do? looks like. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go like this. You can see it. Well, it's no, kind of it just changed. Go on top. Because before it was like... Hold it over see, the top. you notice it made a liar out of me? Is it a high gloss or matte finish? Matte finish, oh, this course. is oh, it's gonna give you an old time look. It's gonna go flat. Yeah. It's hey, a, it's a matte finish. So we're gonna seal this now, okay? <laughs> so just a quick tip. Sometimes, um, if you're working with this style paint, which is a chalky style paint, and you saw what I did, which, which was a buff. Remember, without it sealed, it has a chalkboard property to it, okay? Why? So it's gonna maybe like mute down a little bit. But watch what happens if you decide to put it's a sealer like, on it. It's white now. Come on over here. Put it right on the top of here. here. Hang on a sec. It's, no, it's like... Okay, hover on the top. It's, no, that no, ain't helping either. So Eliza said... Thank you. Yeah, it's like... It's okay, like ready? popping in and out. You guys ready? It's... Okay. It's really bad. Let it, me see. Let well, me hold now it. it's not. All right. All right, we're just going to go ahead and do this, okay? Look at that. She so, took the camera from me. I know. Seriously. Just just go on the top of it here. No. I want to be able to see oh, the yumminess. Do you guys see the difference right here? Right here? You guys can see it, right? Yeah, absolutely. So now all that black and that muted down stuff, you can see right here. This is what I polyed. This is what I haven't. All right. You can see the difference. So this is the color that was in the jar, but because I went ahead and I did some smooth overs with the very light sandpaper, remember it's a chalkboard paint. So it kind of muted it all down. Can you see it? But the moment that you go ahead and you basically, you're kind of like reactivating the color again. Okay. So I'm going to pass this back to Matt. So I have my two hands, but yeah, I just wanted you to be able to see that because that's the fun part. That's the really, really fun part, right? I think the tray is affecting your white balance. You might be right, Tess. What are you talking about? My 200 trays for $2? Yeah, remember I said about whiting out the thing? Well. I think you're right. We'll have to do some testing later. So Eliza was okay, saying. Come uh, Liza was saying my battery's slow and I don't have a charger. Don't want to miss out on my name being called. Oh, we're gonna get, we're getting close here. I'm gonna finish this up. So yes, that's a good reminder. Anybody who wants to get their name in for a share on a jar of paint, be sure to um, be sure to share now. Be sure to share now to get your name in because any moment I'm gonna give it a last call. Matt's gonna say, you know what? He's already got a name ready to go. So get your name in now. Yep. Uh, yeah, I will give you three minutes to get your name in for the free jar of paint. Share, and then comment share below. So, Sonia is still begging the iPad. The iPad has no feelings. <laughs> the iPad has no favorites. That's true. The iPad does not care. 
It doesn't, does it? Yeah. So when you're putting your poly on, just even though I use uh, shabby chip brushes for uh, the part about putting the actual paint on, best uh, my best advice is when you're actually using a poly, get a brush that you like that fits good in your hand. But the key is getting a brush that's actually um, basically has really nice and light and fluffy yeah. head. She yeah, yeah, because somebody just asked, do you get uh, bubbles? In you get your, bubbles in your. Uh, no. No, I, I've like gotten them before when the brush was Don't put a ton right, on yeah. it. Yeah, don't put a ton on it um, of poly on it. Just go light. Oops. And even if you needed a second coat, you could always go over it again. Yep. But yeah, just go with the fluffy brush because remember, it's the shabby chip brush that gives you the distressed look because it doesn't give you total coverage. It leaves those trails behind it. You don't want trails behind it when you're poly and you want it fully covered. So go with something that's nice and fluffy and that you like. Um, yeah, so... There's two different kinds of brushes, one for when you seal and one for when you're actually applying the paint. Okay, you have exactly one minute, 15 seconds to share and comment. Share. What kind of paint brush do you use for paint? We use... Show the, the basket of Yeah, we use the cheap uh, chip brushes. Actually, we sell them for 85 cents. So the cheaper, the better. Actually. So, anyways... Um, yep. So who's feeling inspired to paint something tonight? This is the goal. I'm going to go over here. You can throw this way if you want. <sighs> I know. Over. I keep moving, right? Yeah, she has this long, uh, minefield for me to walk <laughs> into, right? It's booby trapped. It's booby trapped. You can use a roller, absolutely, if you yep. want a all-over look. Yes. If I was to use a roller, do I we would sell get, the pieces we paint? Yes, they're all in my Chevy ever. shop. They're sale. all at our shop. Yeah. That we're in right now for sale. Maybe tomorrow this one we'll find a home. Um, what was I gonna say? Okay, what aspect? Oh, yeah, well, you can put a uh, you can put your poly on with a roller. Right. Uh, the reason why I'm doing a brush is because remember I'm doing a distressed style. So if you want more of a like as perfect as perfect can get for right. a painted finish, use a roller. In my case, I've glazed and done stuff to make it look old. So. I'm okay with it making with using a brush to put Janice it on. Janice Layton wants to know: Will we continue to do videos after 30 days? Heck yeah! Absolutely. We've been doing them for three years. She's been dragging me into this, so <laughs> it's going to stop her now. There you go. Could you say the color of the paint? Teal River. Yeah. Show her the jar. Actually, yeah. you can see the jar over there. Uh, where's Teal River? I got to make sure I keep this down with uh, Teal River. Actually, this jar. And this is the bottle it comes in. So there you go. Till River. All right. Oh, Leslie, it's on its way. Um, we've been mailing out paint nonstop for actually since Thursday. So um, right now we're queuing up on all the uh, orders from the weekend into Tuesday now. So. Um, it's coming. This yeah, it's coming. It. Absolutely. It. What type of roller for the poly? Well, we usually do a brush. Yeah. If um, you're going to use a roller, use something with that, what's called low nap, which means that it doesn't have a big radius of fluffiness to it. Okay. So use like um, a velour or... Um, velour. Yes, velour. It sounds really like expensive and uh, high-end, but ice, really... Ice baby. Actually, but really it's like $2 a roller. We just made more ice ice baby. Where okay. is it? This is the ice ice baby jar. Actually, ice, ice yeah. Baby. Actually, it's in the. That's the ice ice baby jar, and this is its cousin, Misty Aqua. These are in the same color families. This looks less blue, but this is like a a very light pale blue. Actually, we just restocked on that. <laughs> Uh, Susan, 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 Susan says, how do you make your paint? Our paint is an ancient Chinese secret. Actually, Susan, our, our, our paint is a trade secret. It's copywritten. Um, right now we're working on the patent for it and stuff like that. So, uh, actually we, we don't share, yeah, we don't share our trade cool. secret. Sorry. All right. All right, I liken it to the Big Mac, right? Yep. All right, let's go. Special sauce. <laughs> Come on over here so you can see this. Come purple, on, see please. On we have a really bright purple. We just... Uh, we're making more of it right we're now. We're making more I of it I think the right jar now. is up there because we sold out of... 
Yeah, we made. Where's the purple? Right here. Ah, here. Give me. 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 This yeah. is just our sample jar. Yep. All right. Let's yeah, the jar got to... beat up on the way over from the uh, Move. old shop. Yeah. So, All right. Yeah. It's actually think? a dark, dark purple. You what know, like do a royal you guys purple. Think? Are you loving it? Are you loving it? Um, I'm McDonald's would now. the cream color or antique white be too light to paint with shimmer? No, actually, we use this right here. Yes. This is. What is that? Is that antique lace or is that? That was actually the antique lace, yeah. Yeah, this is a light cream with it's the shine. Yep, yep. It's an off oh, yeah. Okay, come and stand over here. Let's take a look and see how we're doing. So imagine this as a desk. How cute would that be? Let's see what else we got around the point here. Who's got a desk right now that needs some love? And uh, you need to like spruce <laughs> it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You guys catching that? How sweet is that? Cute. cute, cute, cute Absolutely, cute. you can mix paint colors. Yeah. And Sandra, begging my wife will not get you to see what I look like. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to put some flowers here. What do you guys think? All right. It's kind of doing baby physics there. That's baby physics. It's up on the side where it normally it? wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. All right, so All right, there we go. I'm going to call it done. What do you yeah, guys think? Let's, um, let's announce the winner. Yeah, let's do it. Let me go over to Winter the mighty, ad, mighty iPad. Mighty iPad, give me a name. All right, we're going to put these Mighty iPad. In. Let's go on to Super Mix. So normally, I'm putting this Super in right mix. now so you guys can see it. But here's another tip as well. Once you finish painting, because everything is going to cure, um, it's actually going to, it's all dry to the touch now. But what's going to happen overnight is it continues to suck into the wood pores. Right. So I'm staging it right now to kind of give you an idea of how you can pull it together. Because remember, this piece was pretty darn tired when we started with it. Um, but just leave your drawers open. And um, I, I wouldn't put anything on the top of it. I would just let it sit overnight and just let it continue to cure, okay? And pull it into the wood. All right. Winner. All right. Winner, winner. Go ahead. And our big winner for the night for the free jar of junk, Maggie Pate. Yes. All she has to do is, once yes. I announce her name, she has two minutes to get back to me. Yes. And the name is She's Christy right. Black Guerra. Christy, are you with us, Christy? You got two minutes to comment, girl. Tell us if you are here, you get to claim um, a jar of paint. And then if that's you and you are, you are here, we're going to tell you to message us uh, so you can claim it. But you have to claim it first here and then message us the color, okay? Yep. If you are not here, we're going to shout out a second name. So what do you guys think? Do you like the color? Do you like the combo? Because remember, teal is teal. Um, but the moment you put some glaze onto it, it totally changes it. It oh, totally changes Christine it, okay? Christine just checked in. Yay! Awesome. Yeah, private message us. Um, whether you're located in the U.S. or abroad. Yep. Um, if you're abroad, you'll receive a t-shirt. If you're in the U.S., you will re receive a jar of your choice of color, Junk Monkey Paint. All right. And uh, you guys saw me today use black. Remember, there's also brown glaze. This was the piece we just did the other night, if you want to remind them over here. We did it in antique lace, yep. and we put the brown glaze on it. And then today, if you watched on Home Talk, we also glaze this piece right here. Do you see I need that? to get... Uh, I need to get uh, diffusers on those lights. Okay. Who are you calling abroad? Uh, no, no, abroad, as in. Not from here. As in, not from Overseas, here. Overseas, outside <laughs> of the country. Like, I live abroad. I think Beth's messing with me. <laughs> Beth scared me to death there. I'm like, well, what do you mean, Beth? <laughs> All right. So you guys saw this, right? So mm -hmm. if I, I could put a, could have put a brown glaze on here. I did Ooh. a brown glaze the other night. You guys saw that, right? Oh, you scare me when you say stuff like that. You you do that. You, you People know I'm German. I take things literally. So. Yeah. God. It's okay. It's all good. <sighs> it's all good. <sighs> so what do you guys think? <sighs> this was the piece that we did this morning, and I said I decided to do the desk in the same effect. So you could do it on small pieces. You could do it on big pieces. Again, this is just Till River and Black Blaze. Um, and then you can just have fun with it. But if this was, if this was mine, I mean, think about even like a small desk like this, finding a frame to go behind it, and then um, maybe using little clothes pins or just little clips, and you can use it as a total office setup. How much right? for the frame you have in your hand? Oh my gosh! Usually I sell these for around. Um, I have different sizes, but for with the chicken wire in yes. them, they're usually right around thirty Kel bucks. Kelly sheets. Yeah, right. absolutely. I've got different sizes and colors. Janice, so, think okay. we need to see Matt. So there you go. What do you guys think? No, you don't need to see that. <laughs> 
All right, guys, I'm going to jump off of here. I'm not going to take up any of your time, but I will be back on again tomorrow night, and we will have another project. We don't even know yet what we're going to paint, okay? So thank you for joining us here from Sonia and Matt at Jug Monkey Paint Company. We are going to uh, get ready to go home and maybe do some Netflixing. I don't know, okay? That's what we're going to do. Wow. But anyway, I hope you're having fun. You guys having fun? Please tell me you're having fun. All right, we'll no, be back we're not here having tomorrow. any fun. Tomorrow's day nine. See, nobody's having fun. And tomorrow we're going to do some crackle, right? Because people yes. have been asking for crackle. crackle. So we're going to do some crackle. Crackle. All right, my friend. You're welcome, Gina. You guys have You're a welcome, Gina. evening. Janet. Congratulations Sorry. to our winner. Yes, Christy. Message us. Have fun. Paint Good something. Good night, guys. Paint See ya. Paint something. Let's Paint get those something. pictures. Later. See ya. Bye.